Welcome back to Sheffield, the city where our record-breaking Olympic boxing team were based ahead of London 2012. Star of the show, 33-5 veteran, Paul Buslin, who shared the ring with some very good class opposition. He's the current European champion. Series from Milton Mowbray. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, trimming the gold, weighing in at 16 stone, 8 pounds, 7 ounces. He is undefeated. One contest and one win inside the scheduled distance. Come to the ring as the two-time ABA champion. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Olympic Butlin was the original opponent for the debut three weeks ago, but he turned that down because he was getting married. Challenger, Paolo Vidal's former European champion, Jonathan Banks, who went seventh round. Gerber, who just boxed for the European title. Just recently lost in five to Gary Cornish, the big Highlander. In He's Inverness. making up the numbers tonight. It's, uh, you have to expect this, but I mean, it's quite right. You have to be careful with all, all talents. Yeah, rocked him there, rocked him early. And the legs are sagging, and he's really feeling that right-handed, Butlin. Don't take too many more of them, and Joshua knows he's got his number. Howard Foster's already... The speed of that right hand from Joshua, that was terrific. You can see him warming to the pro game. He's been sparring with Joshua, and he said the thing that really impressed him more than anything about Joshua is the way he adapts. Whatever you throw at him, he deals with it. And comes again, every time Butlin feels one of those right hands, the legs shake. And there's another one. And the switch to the body. Sagged at the knee. The 37-year-old is probably thinking, what am I doing in here at the moment? Yeah, I think Butlin had, uh, had his mind changed. He was hurt. He's been hurt a couple of times. He's still in there. Thanks for the build up for Butlin. He said, ah, Joshua, he's a bit slow, flat footed, stiff. And he also admitted it's a totally different lifestyle. With a run. Then he has to get the kids to school, then he goes to work. Nothing else he has to worry about any of that just at the moment. Well, Butlin trying to be a little bit cagey now, getting his hands up, blocking the shots. Maybe a good time to go back oh, down the to the final bell. In the end of the round. And he's done well, as we said, a wee group, because he looked like he was going to go in the first minute and then he rush here. Yeah, which is also good, you know, he doesn't have the pressure of the crowd looking for the knockout lights. Not for the first time in this round, there is that bell you're waiting for, Jim. He survived the first three. Uh, Josh, a very businesslike there. I mean, he's cool, he's athletic, he's talented, everything going for him. Not in any hurry whatsoever. He wants to do the job cleanly. Not a lot of just picking his punches nicely. Round two of this six rounder. That was a shrug almost. Boy, this is going to be a painful night's work. Switching with a body shot there. Josh Willey. Oh, nailed it. That right hand. He doesn't know where he is, Butlin, and I think Alan Fox is waving that up. Now, is he going to let him carry on? He is. Well, I think body language says, yeah. I want out of there, I would have got him out of there. Well, I think, think Alan Fox is getting ready to step in here because nobody wants to see Butlin get hurt. Body shots coming in, he's all over the place here, and that's it. The towel comes in. Howard Foster says that's enough. And a smart up and in with something special there. Well, it was a two punch it's combination. Exploded on the eyebrow of Paul Butlin. That was a terrific punch. And the way, you know, the, 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 the injuries he got back up, I, you know, I thought it was over at that point. I mean, look at the, look at the way he's crumbled it's up and the blood foster. I mean, OK, you're dealing with a fighter's pride, he wants to put up a show, but uh, the, the night had kept him out of there. Thankfully, it wasn't a force to take too many more. But uh, that was another terrific performance. He's not going to go makes... overboard, as you say. He's not going to go out and win a world title tomorrow. We're not looking at another Lomachenko here or anything like that, but everything that you're asking him to do, everything you're, you're seeing. Yeah, and, and credit to Butlin, he didn't grab hold. He so, you know, he came and put up a little bit of a show. He did that, so a bit of entertainment, and he played his part. But his part was over. The future people's champion, Anthony Joshua! How about your appreciation?
Belgian police for the prize fighter Paul Butlin. Six for six of pure brawn. Anthony Joshua, two out of two. Second round demolition job on Paul Butlin. He celebrates the win. We'll hear from him very, very shortly. Well, Anthony, congratulations. Another spectacular win, another stoppage victory. You've got to be pleased with the way that went. Not yet, because when you're in there, there's a few things that you could do better. Um, I'm still improving, still cracking on, but it's always good to get a win because now I can get ready for November 14th, which is my next fight, and I could, I've got about two and a half weeks to work on a few things to improve on. You weren't wild, though. You set everything up with the jab. Yeah, that's the key right now is uh, relax. Do your boxing move. Box again, move. Look for the opening attack. You know. Six for six of pure brawn. Anthony Joshua, two out of two. Second round demolition job on Paul Ball. He celebrates the win. We'll hear from him very, very shortly. Well, Anthony, congratulations. Another spectacular win, another stoppage victory. You've got to be pleased with the way that went. Not yet, because when you're in there, there's a few things that you could do better. Um, I'm still improving, still cracking on, but it's always good to get a win because now I can get ready for November 14th, which is my next fight, and I could, I've got about two and a half weeks to work on a few things to improve on. You weren't wild, though. You set everything up with the jab. Yeah, that's the key right now is uh, relax. Do your boxing move. Box again, move. Look for the opening attack, you know, and uh, second round, what Tony told me in the corner is, let your shots go, be sharp. You've worked your way into the second round now. Now be composed and sharp, and that's what I've done. A lovely two-punch punch combination to Floor Butlin. Were you surprised he got up from that? Yeah, man, the guy's a tough guy, you know, all respect to him. That's what I said. I like someone who comes to fight, someone who's game, and that's what he did. Just to see it here, Anthony. Not yet, because when you're in there, there's a few things that you could do better. Um, I'm still improving, still cracking on, but it's always good to get a win because now I can get ready for November 14th, which is my next fight, and I could, I've got about two and a half weeks to work on a few things to improve on. You weren't wild, though. You set everything up with the jab. Yeah, that's the key right now is uh, relax. Do your boxing move. Box again, move. Look for the opening attack, you know, and uh, second round, what Tony told me in the corner is let your shots go, be sharp. You've worked your way into the second round now. Now be composed and sharp, and that's what I've done. A lovely two punch, punch combination to Floor Butlin. Were you surprised he got up from that? Yeah, man, the guy's a tough guy, you know, all respect to him. That's what I said. I like someone who comes to fight, someone who's game, and that's what he did. Just to see it here, Anthony. I didn't see it. Here we go. Talk us through that. <laughs> Left hook, right hand. <laughs> Just it's boxing. One, two, body shots, head shots. You know, it's boxing ain't complicated. You